Seymour from FX Guide for Wired. This week we look at cataclysmic annihilation via an iPad. As you might expect from the title, in the new biblical epic Noah, filmmakers needed quite a lot of rain and water. In fact, as it turns out, in terms of manhandling water and rain over a crowd of people, it's one of the largest of its type ever done. As Oscar-winning special effects expert Bert Dalton told us, the old adage for filming special effects is frontlight snow and backlight rain. This is because unless rain is backlit, it's very hard to read on camera. The team had to produce rain effects to cover an outdoor set about the size of two football fields, and they quickly realized that they needed to do this by shooting night for day. Since if they were to shoot during the day, they would have the sun constantly moving and they'd never consistently be able to backlight the rain. But lining up a couple of football fields with a torrential deluge isn't that simple. Their solution was to build a huge light and rain rig on three 300 ton cranes. Hanging from each of the cranes was a vast set of rain bars, each of which were about 100 feet by 40 feet wide. And on top of those were placed massive balloon space lights. You know those uh, really big nozzles that firemen have on the end of their fire hoses? Well, they had about 100 of them up in the air. The system rained down about 5,000 gallons a minute from these huge arrays using two different types of rain sprinklers. One called a goose drowner, which is the big one that produces big droplets, and much smaller mist sprinklers that were set up in between. There were 3,000 feet of 12-inch pipe that was run from 100,000 gallon tanks through giant manifolds backed up by two huge 12-inch pumps that managed to provide 150 psi over the hundreds of feet of pipe hanging up in the air over the heads of about 500 screaming extras. And all of this was controlled by the iPad. The iPad allowed the team to always correctly light the rain. Each individual rain head has its own solenoid, so if the team wants to white out the background, they can turn on and run just the mist heads at the back. If they want pouring rain, they can run those really big goose drowners, and of course it's easy to turn everything on. But it's just as easy to isolate one area and keep it dry, or from the uh, power of this custom iPad app. Each night the team raised the rig up. They used about 100,000 to 200,000 gallons of water, which is well over a million gallons, or the equivalent of about two Olympic-sized swimming pools, dumped on the site over the 15 nights of shooting. In the end, the whole scene had a massive water simulation digitally added by ILM to complete the sequence. Well, don't forget to subscribe for more behind-the-scenes action. I'm Mike Seymour for Wired.